dietro la, la linea <ride> Hai la scalza? Beh, almeno hai i guanti. <ride> non avrà le scarpe, però almeno hai i guanti. Face laps. Io 
palce ro. Tu vieni qua da. Aspetta. E posso tenere normalmente io? Sì. E che è quello? Sì. 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 Sì, si è strappato. Vai. Dimmi pure lo staff se devo. Però la tua mamma da solito lì per... Non dietro, per nani, per nani. È finita! Oh. Mollo. Visto. Super. Aspetta che cammini indietro. Mica lontano ti. Eh, cammini tu. Vedi che mi tengo via. Mi passi. Sono 
tvoj trener sa čas. Zdravšu, bolj težko. more than that now on Ma se je, če ne bi mohli obračati, da nam ne bi padla dol, bi šlo prav na eno stavu nahor.
Reši tako nazaj. Petra, pa speš. Ker samo tako, reš, v znak. Prav vzo zdravim, vzla, vzo. Prav da lomiš pa. In kaj ima te, na?
Tablo, da sem ne videl samo vne, ki so bile iz dan, ki se je bilo tito. Repeat.
ऊपर Ne, tu ti vrolo, kad da jo nahlik. Vidiš? A, vleči se. Ja, jere. Kaj bi lahko preveč dela, ampak zdaj se kupi to in da je prav prečudoviten. Yesterday we didn't manage to completely finish the roof, but there's just a dead little piece that we didn't finish and today it's raining, uh, it was raining most of the day and uh, even if at the moment it's not raining I can't uh, go onto the roof. Uh, even uh, when it's uh, dry it's really hard to work on the roof because uh, of its uh, steepness and if it's a bit wet uh, it, I don't even uh, want to try and see uh, how hard it is and how dangerous it can be. I mean, I was working uh, pretty much uh, all of the time uh, with the harness and with the rope because it's really steep and high. If you sleep without the rope, there would be no way to stop. I can pretty much say that the roof is covered. It was uh, really hard uh, four weeks 
of uh, work just to get the boards and the uh, water membrane on. The first uh, half of the roof I've done it uh, myself with some help uh, of my girlfriend and I can't even, it's not even possible to put into words how hard and, and at the same time it was really amazing working on the roof. As I said many times before, I really enjoy when the work uh, it's hard and uh, very challenging and the roof was as hard as it gets. At least uh, I've never done something that was more uh, physically and mentally exhausting than uh, this roof. Also, I'm, not also, I'm sure that from the video it's not uh, understandable how big it is. The size of the roof is 200 uh, square meters, which is just uh, huge for a cabin like this, but uh, it's also what I wanted. I want the roof to protect the, the structure and the wood from rain. This way I think uh, the cabin can last uh, really a long time, especially because on the outside I don't want to use any chemicals or any color or something to protect the wood. If it stays dry, I think will be fine for a very long time. Then I've seen uh, quite a few comments on the last video asking uh, why did I run the, the water protection uh, vertically and not uh, horizontally. It was uh, pretty much the only option I had uh, running, uh, running it vertically because I did a few meters of boards and then I've put on the, the water protection. If I would want to put it uh, horizontally, I would first need to cover everything with the boards and with that I would risk a lot that uh, I would not be able to cover. <laughs> I mean, I would for sure not be able to cover all the roof before the rain because I did a few meters and many times between one and uh, the other day it was raining. It was something uh, that was not uh, visible or notable on the video but I was doing that side for two weeks and in between uh, there were many days with rain and the problem is if I put all the roof and I screw the boards on and then the rain comes each board when it gets wet it expands and even uh, and even a 20 centimeter board it can expand for around uh, 3 or maybe even 5 millimeters and having I don't know how many probably around uh, 50 boards on one side you can calculate how much it would expand and I've seen this happen before and it uh, completely pulls out and breaks the screws. For me, it was uh, impossible to run the, the water and the moisture barrier uh, horizontally. Considering the steepness of the roof and also that uh, this uh, water membrane was, uh, had, a, had a glue on all the boards and underneath it, so it should uh, stick on all, on all on all the points when one uh, strap crosses the other one. Plus, where they are crossing each other, I've screwed on a, a 2x4, so I'm pretty sure that no water will get in. Plus, on top of that, this is uh, just the secondary roof protection. I'm building the cold roof system. Now, on the first layer of 2x4s, I will run another layer horizontally, and then on that comes the, the final uh, and uh, the real roof uh, cover. But yeah, I don't recommend uh, to others doing it like this. If you have uh, uh, an option, a possibility, it's of course always better to run it uh, horizontally. And like always, I would like to say thank you to everyone that left uh, a comment, that watched uh, the last video and all the other videos. I'm getting a lot of comments from people that uh, find out about my videos and they go through all of the all, all of the two seasons and yeah I'm just blown away by all the messages and 
and everything else that I receive. A really big, big thank you from me to everyone that is supporting me through the videos and also especially to my girlfriend, to the rest of the family. Uh, lately, my father has been helping me a bit. I think he was not in any of the videos, but he is helping me here and there, especially with uh, some advice and any support, any help. Uh, it's uh, very much appreciated, even though my way is uh, mostly doing it myself and, uh, and figuring things out as I'm working and as I go on. But every now and then I greatly appreciate the help. Also this side, I've done it with uh, one of my longtime friends. I always have a lot of fun working together with him. Some of you maybe remember him from uh, building the tree house. We've done uh, that together. We have also done a lot of things together off the camera and, and yeah, I really enjoy working together with him. Sometimes we get a bit carried away from work and we do something crazy. One of the best things we've done is when we were building the tree house and we lifted up the, the motorcycle and we're doing the, the burnout and drifts on top of the platform before we build the, the house. I think that's all for now. Hopefully tomorrow I close that uh, small gap and then I will be closing these uh, triangles. When it's raining with the wind, I still get some uh, rain in from the sides. But anyways, it's a really big relief to have the roof on and having most of the structure out of the rain.